So IRBs, or Institutional Review Boards, are these research ethics committees, and they were set up in 1974 by Congress, by legislation that Congress passed, the National Research Act, which they passed as a result of the Tuskegee Syphilis Study, I should say, which is when the U.S. government funded a study of African-American men who had syphilis uh, to see what the course of syphilis would be in their bodies. But when penicillin became available, this researchers decided not to tell the men. So uh, Congress set up legislation that led to IRBs. Uh, they are committees that are in every institution, every hospital and university does research, or a university or hospital needs to find another IRB to look at its research. They consist of at least five members, of which there is one non-affiliated person who's outside the institution, one non-scientific or lay person, and then people who are experts in the area of research. And there are four or five thousand of these committees in the United States, hundreds abroad, uh, and they usually operate behind closed doors. No one knows how they make decisions, what kinds of decisions they make I, are obvious only to the individual researcher who has submitted a study. Uh, but they have, as I mentioned, increasingly become controversial because uh, increasingly, since they were developed 40 years ago, science has changed. So there are now often, as opposed to one doctor doing a study with his or her few patients, there are multi-site studies where there are 40 or 50 institutions involved and therefore 40 or 50 IRBs involved. And some IRBs say, yes, the study's fine. Some say no. Some say change this. Some say change that. So it's gotten in the way of being able to do science.